I thought I was being all helpful. All right, thanks, man. All right, later. Marcus this team obviously has been through a lot in the last week. Just what's been, you guys seem so hyper focused and, and confident still. What's going behind that? Like, how do you guys feel right now? Uh, we feel good. You know, we, we trust in each other. We believe in the coaches and, you know, we're just, we just trust in each other and we're, we're confident in each other. I guess Marcus Service, I mean, over your career, gotten really comfortable in mid range. How did you kind of develop that skill and where did that kind of start for you as a player? I don't know, really. Uh, I just, uh, you know, I felt like my freshman year, I was kind of getting stuck a lot in uh, the mid-range area, and I didn't really have anything to do. So, you know, I just got in the gym and worked on it. Justin, Coach Underwood kind of gave us the impression that over the last couple of weeks he feels like something flipped for you. Do you, do you kind of get a feeling of what that was and how things have kind of been a little bit easier for you the last couple of weeks? Um, I just feel like uh, – a lot. I'm just calming down a lot and trusting my teammates. They're gonna give me the ball in the right spot and just making shots. So yeah. Marcus, I know you worked in the mid post at SIU. At, at what point did you know that posting up like this would be something you'd do at Illinois? Was it something they talked about in the recruiting process or during the summer? What point did you know playing this booty ball is, is something you'd be doing? Uh, we talked about it a little bit in the recruiting process. Not really. Uh, it was really just one day we had a film session and T.A., Tyler, you know, we just they just sat us down there like we really want to. We think like, you know, you and Ty can really take advantage of guards doing this. So we it was one day. I don't remember when it was, but just watched film and, and we decided that we felt like that we had an advantage there. It's Marcus just offensively made, we made the most efficient you know game of the season for you guys. Just what? leads to a game like tonight just to have that kind of performance just ball movement really you know trusting each other that you know if you give it up you're still going to get it back um you know we just we just trust in each other ball movement and guys are hitting their shots you know justin's finding his rhythm quincy's finding his rhythm coleman luke the list goes on and on you know when guys hit shots the the floor just opens up I, I guess for either or both of you, Chris Collins talked about just how your offense and, and the way you attack matchups can stress defenses. Uh, what, why do you guys think you guys are successful in, in running the offense that you guys run? Um, I feel like uh, we got a good coaching staff with uh, our scouting reports, so they like notice a lot of um, a lot of weaknesses in the defense. So like when we when we just um, go through the um, scout the whole week, we just stress it and just work on it the whole week. So, yeah. <clears throat> you guys had to do a – obviously, Boo Boo is one of the, you know, better players and better guards in the Big Ten. You guys had to guard him as well in addition to the offense. So talk about defensively what you were able to do with him. Uh, we just put a – we put a lot of different people on him. You know, Ty started on him. I guarded him. Justin guarded him. You know, we have – we have an athletic, longer team where, you know, when you throw different guys to, you know, maybe be more physical with them or a little bit longer, like that can kind of wear on players. So, you know, we're, we have depth on the defensive end too. Justin, what have you guys shown yourselves the last two games? Um, that we can't, like we, well, I'm sure they coach say this a lot, but uh, we the real, we a real connect, connect the team, like, from one through eight. So uh, whenever, like we locked in every day on, in practice, uh, when we off, when we're not in practice, like we always locked in, but we just a real connected team, just love having fun with each other and just, just winning. We all got the same goal to win. So yeah, that's a great, 
I, I guess for either of you, like we hear that a lot, how connected you guys are. So how is that developed and what's that feel like? Like what, what's it feel like to be on a team that's as connected as you are versus maybe in the past if you've not been? You got it. <laughs> uh, it's, it's just fun. You know, like we enjoy being around each other. You know, it's not we see each other in practice and that's when we see each other. You know, we hang out with each other. We have fun with each other. We joke around. The locker room is fun. You know, and I think that just carries on to the court. You know, you see the the joy that we play with. You know, we love making plays for each other, and it's just contagious. It spreads. Justin, you had to adapt a role to a new team and then probably have to adapt again a little bit um, with the hole you guys have on offense. So what's that been like for you to to step up as a scorer the last couple of games? Um, it's been fun. Um, I really I really love uh, my new role. It's, it's just – just playing as hard as I can on the defensive end and just taking what the game give me on the offensive end. I'm not really looking to score. I'm really looking to be unselfish, help my teammates make them better, and just win. Whatever I can do to win, whatever Coach Brad tell me to do. <clears throat> it marks me not to belabor the mid-range point, but just was there like a player that you may have looked at, you know, someone that was good in that area that you kind of tried to, to mold your, your game a little bit after? Uh, I mean, I, uh, I worked a lot. Uh, I give a lot of credit to Rob Dozier. Uh, he's one of my guys. He was a, a GA at SIU that I worked out with a lot. And we watched a lot of film on guys like Jason Tatum, Bradley Beal, Luca. Just like, I just watched a lot of film with him and we got in the gym every day and just worked on stuff like that. So, you know, just a lot of credit to him for, you know, kind of expanding that game for me. Last one. For either of you guys, Chris talked about, Chris Collins talked about you guys getting the 50 50 balls and just seemed like you had an edge about you, like Luke diving on the floor like that. What went into that, do you think, for you guys and how big was that to set the tone in that way? Um, uh, it's, it's a real big thing, like, where, like, we always got to be the first team to the floor. So if we don't get on the floor first, we're going to hear it from the big dog. So. <laughs> We just we just try to play as hard as we can for each other. So yeah, first man on the floor always win. So yeah. All right, that'll wrap us up. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Big dog, really. <laughs>
And, um, you know, he's he's going to be in action, so he's going to score some points. But, uh, um, again, I, I just thought we, we we did what we needed to do on, on that side tonight. Brett, obviously, you go booty ball, and Chris said it reminded him of Jalen Pickett like you talked about. But how, how key are those big men you have to, to making this all work, like this personnel group you have, like to – is this better than you expected it to be? Um, you know, I've always said that Coleman's a really, really good shooter. And uh, uh, he's proving that, but he's also a really good passer. And uh, uh, and he's very cerebral um, in, in his slip outs and everything else. Um, his ability to, to decide when to roll and, and so all, all that becomes really important. Um, and then, you know, again, Quincy's a great cutter. He's a violent downhill driver. Um, so yeah, and I, I think the one thing is, um, we have multiple guys that can do it. You know, it's not just pick it. Uh, you know, we're going to try to get into it with, you know, as we started the game with Ty, you know, when we saw Boo on Ty, it was, that was the, that was the go mode. And, uh, unfortunately got foul trouble. Uh, we also had some situations where, you know, we, we, we like it with Quincy. Um, but again, they can all really pass and, uh, they're big and strong. So doubles have been, um, they've handled them. Brad, you said to us the other day about Justin, that this new role at Illinois couldn't have been easy for him to adjust to early on. What are you seeing that has allowed him to make it look easier? Well, he's simplifying. He's not trying to do too much. You know, I thought um, at times um, you can tr you can try so hard to be a really good player, and sometimes it's just 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 settling into what what the offense gives you, what we need you to do, uh, run really hard, uh, guard your tail off. Uh, the ball instinctively finds him a lot. Um, and then, um, you know, it's, it's shoot open shots, and, and if they fly at you, drive it. And, and, and it's, it's, it's been that simple, but it just it doesn't happen like that. It takes time. Brad, at what point was what you're doing with Marcus right now coming to your vision? Was this something you thought about when you recruited him or when you got him in the summer and played with it? What, when did you lean into that the way you have? Well, we knew he could do it because he did a lot of it at, 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 at Southern Illinois. I mean, he found his way into, into post-ups from, from different areas. And uh, so we knew that that was going to be um, – I don't know if we knew it was going to be like this. You know, and, and, and we really knew we, – we really thought about it a lot more with Ty uh, when we moved him to the point that, you know, okay, this is a guy that can be a – you know, because he's in our league, a picket guy, you know. And uh, it's just blossomed from there. And, and, and again, Coleman and, and um, you know, Luke and, and all those guys are keys because they can, they can make shots. Is he a – 21 assists Friday against Fairleigh Dickinson, 17 on 35 makes tonight. Just what are you seeing from the ball movement where you're getting those numbers now? The right reads, the right reads and, and unselfish play. I, you know, it's, it's, it's turning down a good one to get a great one. And, um, you know, I think that there's, um, you, you not only have to be a good shooter, but you got to be a really good passer and you got to have some instincts and feel and, um, you know, our turnovers are down. Um, or, you know, 10 turnovers tonight in a game that, you know, you scored 94, whatever we scored, it's 96. And, um, you know, you're going to have a few, but uh, um, I, we're, we're a very unselfish, connected group. Coach, can you just talk to the scouting report for this game and, you know, the, the matchups you thought you could exploit and the actions you think you could run out of the double teams in the post? Well, we knew their scheme. I, you know, and we know what they like to do. I mean, they, I think they were one of the best defenses last year in the country. And, um, you know, but, but again, we felt like that there were some challenges that they might have guarding, guarding us. And, 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 you know, again, if Boo's going to get 20, we want to make him guard at the other end. We want to, we want to have him, 
be responsible for, um, you know, for having to guard there. But uh, uh, again, I, you know, it was, it was just kind of finding the right matchup at the right time and, and, um, you know, giving the ball to Ty or giving the ball to Marcus tonight. It was a lot of Marcus and, um, you know, and then just making plays and reads out of it. Coleman, you mentioned Coleman's defense. What does he give you defensively that everything allows you to do all this? everything that you don't have to coach? And that if that what I mean by that is he is instinctive. He's he's smart. He's coming over in timeouts. He's talking to me constantly. I like, you know, why did they score there? And he's and he knows that it didn't even enter. Doesn't understand the, the play might not have had him in it. He just understands everything about that side of the floor. And then he's got length and then he's got the mobility to guard a lot of guys. And, uh, you know, and we got him on a switch there with Boo in the first half and, and, uh, you know, he's pretty good with that. And so, uh, he, he does everything we don't coach. And then he knows our stuff really well. And he knows, uh, the scouting report really well. Brad, the effort plays tonight, Luke diving on the floor, just seemed like you guys had a, energy and edge to you how, how did you see that it's usually yeah I wasn't very happy at the one at the end of the first half when Barnheiser's I think I think they got three offensive rebounds and there was a loose ball and we didn't get on it and that was one of the first comments I made at halftime and um, you always remember the ones that you don't get more than you remember the ones we actually do get but um, we talk about those things daily that's that's Winning a possession like that is one very deflating for the opponent, but it 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 it, it helps you win a game that you maybe is a, in a two possession game is a is a difference maker and and though, all that is is effort and want to and desire and 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 wanting to win worse than your opponent and <coughs> excuse me and uh, Luke's great at that and and we got a whole team full of guys like that. <coughs> Brad, this last week obviously could have been a distraction, a speed bump for your team. What do you credit their focus and their confidence through that to? They're very connected, as I've said. I keep going back to that. I don't know what other word to use. Um, and they, they, have, they have tremendous desire and passion, and then they all believe in their abilities. And, uh, you know, it's, it's – it's, um, a tribute to them, it really is. Brad, we, we've heard the term "connected" from literally everyone we talk to. So, so what do you know, and, and what as a coach are you looking for that you kind of maybe see those signs that there's it's to the level to, that you guys are describing it as? <clears throat> if I'm not anything else, and I think everybody else will do, I pay attention to literally everything that involves our players, like who hangs out, how they hang out, who they're. Who they're, you know, are there little clicks or are there little this or that? Um, and and you start doing that right away. And it has been like um, remarkable, just remarkable how this group as a whole hangs out. It doesn't matter. You know, you got Quincy coming in from Oregon and, and um, Justin coming in from Utah. Well, they played against each other. So there's a little bit of a relationship there. And then it's, you know, um, you know, I, Luke's so funny and Coleman's so funny and they're personal and, and it's just been an easy fix. And it, it, it hasn't been anybody get worried about anything. They, they're, they've just all fit in. Marcus is, you know, worked so hard and, and, and is funny and he's got a great sense of humor. And I, I can't explain it, but they, they all not on it, off of it, care about each other. And, and, um, um, there's, there's, you know, I, I probably shouldn't say this, but we, we did a, like a secret Santa deal and the thoughtfulness of the gifts that they gave each other, that was blind. It was, you know, they didn't know who was what, but the thoughtfulness that they gave each other and the gifts uh, were remarkable. And and it fit each and every one of them. And, man, I you just I just sat back there and was like, wow, you know, it's 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 at another level. 
just mm-hmm. that offensive versatility from Justin Herman over the last couple of games. What's that? Does that add a dimension uh, yeah. to the offense? Yeah, Justin's a really good driver of the basketball, and um, you know that was what his that's what his. I don't know, Forte was last year coming in was his ability to get downhill and make plays and, and he and he can he's got different release angles and different different areas that he can he can score from. But uh, uh but yeah, he's 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 keeps adding. He's been good. I mean he's stuck with kind of the the six for most of this game. I mean, are you thinking margin of victory? Maybe offense, defensive efficiency, just may all the things that go into these rankings that at one point down the line are going to matter. I'm thinking about winning the game, but I think you'd be foolish if you don't think about those things, the way the system's set up. Yeah. No, I'm not trying to rub any – any. I wasn't trying to, to, to do that. I'm not trying to be uns, unsporting. That never crosses my mind. But, uh, um, you know, with with Nico out, we don't have a lot of – we don't have a ton of options at the point. And, you know, so there's restricted opportunities there. And But, yeah, it always never leaves my mind. Thank you. Um, I believe we'll go 11-20 on Thursday.